Hi, welcome to Virtual Curriculum Night. My goal is to keep this video short and sweet and hopefully answer any questions that you have through email later. So I am Sarah Asher, Lady Asher. I've had many, most of your students already and I'm so excited to have them back in class again. This time, I get to talk about meaty, pure history with them, European history to be exact. This course is my joy during the week because I get to sit down and talk about uh, the analyzation of documents, the analyzation of events that have happened in Europe. And Europe's history is so complex and twisted in a good way and so pervasive throughout the world. I just, I love it. Um, they, the students will meet three days a week because the class is so small and we can get through concise information very quickly. Uh, three days a week should be sufficient. I know also that many of them, if not all of them, have given up a study hall period to take this class. So we want to honor that by giving them a couple of days during the week where they can get homework done, go see teachers if they have questions, um, while spreading out and giving them plenty of work and reading to do in European history. So my focus is to have them take the AP uh, exam. I have read AP European history essays for over 10 years. So I always wondered before that, where do these essays go? Who reads these essays? And now for many, many summers, I've read those essays. So I know exactly what the College Board is looking for when they want a really good essay. So if a student decides to take the AP exam, I want them to be as successful as they possibly can be. If they choose not to take the AP exam, that's totally fine too. There's a, still a lot to be gained from this class content-wise, uh, writing historical writing tips, and, and just having a deeper sense of historical knowledge uh, for a region that has influenced so many other regions throughout the world throughout its history. Uh, there is no core reading for this class. I compile everything myself from um, various textbooks. Um, so there's like everything I'm just giving them. There's a lot of writing that goes into this class, a lot of reading. So this is reading and writing intensive. I will give them practice document-based questions or DBQs about twice a month, give or take. Tests are um, multiple choice and those are open note. Um, most of the work is writing work. There are some like worksheets. Um, I will move pretty quickly through this class, so I rely on their uh, student professionalism at this point, and I won't necessarily chase students around asking them to turn in their work. Um, this class is feedback driven. Most of the time for um, any worksheets I may have them do uh, for uh, the outside essays, it's very feedback driven. The DBQs as well. I'll grade those pretty uh, rigidly but I'll give them lots of feedback on how to improve. It's all about improving their writing and improving their test taking technique in this class. A lot of teachers don't want to say that they teach to this test, but it forms the basis for this class. So, but they don't have to take that AP college exam. Um, here really quickly, this is what we're going to cover by semester. Like I said, we move pretty quickly in the class and should hopefully hopefully have uh, get to the 20th century by April. Uh, my problem is sometimes I get stuck talking about a subject that I really, really like. So, but I have to, I have to push myself to keep going. Um, 
that's about the long and short of honors European history. If you have any questions as a parent about this class, please, please feel free to reach out to me and ask them. I want to be as communicative as I possibly can be. Um, but that's about all I have. I'm so happy to teach this class and I look forward to a really productive and great year. Thank you.